Hey guys, oh my gosh, the weather has been unbelievable. And you know what? I know some of you have been at the beach recently. How do I know that? I saw you on the news. Are you kidding me? Yes, the real news. Not just the news that we do here sometimes, but the real news. But you know what? With all of the things that are totally different in our lives, one thing remains the same, and that's God's word. You know, last week we were looking at the story about how the disciples were out and they were trying to fish and they heard a voice on the shore calling to them. Well, the story turned out so well because after they listened to the voice and threw the net on the other side and they were able to call uh, to, to, to capture a bunch of fish and they were able to get to the land and realize, oh my gosh, the voice had been Jesus. And he was sitting there with a bonfire waiting for them with, with bread and, and probably a few things to drink and they were just sitting around and it was like old times. Hmm, that really made me think. I, I open up to the book of Acts and well... Before I read it to you, let me just tell you that I almost love it. I mean, I do. I love it so much, I feel like I could be right in it. I'm here. And you're here. And you're here. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Oh, this is the best thing ever. We're all together. Well, you're all together again, and this time I get to actually be a part of it and see it. Oh, this is the best feeling, guys. You're going to heal more people and do some teaching, and, 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 and we're going to go and tell other people about you and help, and we'll go on all kinds of journeys together, and oh, this is so great. After everything seemed so bleak, we're all back together again, and it's as it should be, and this is how it's going to stay forever, right? It's absolutely perfect. It's perfect, except it's not. Hmm. Okay, so that's really not how it got to stay. And the thing is, they had to be so glad to be back together with Jesus. But he made it really clear in his word. He said this. Uh, it says that he was back for 40 days. He hung out with them. He taught them a lot about what the kingdom of God was going to look like. And then he said to them, you know what? I'm going to have to go. I'm going to have to leave. And here's the thing. They're probably like, no, 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 don't leave us now. Don't leave us now. It's just about to get good again. And he assured them, no, no, it's going to get good again. But I need you to do two things for me. I need you to stay here in Jerusalem, and I need you to wait for a gift that my father is going to send you. A gift? <laughs> Nobody likes gifts better than me. I have been waiting for deliveries from Amazon because we can't really go shopping right now. So I'm like, oh, yay, an order. It must be for me. Yeah, ooh, fun. And so I can only imagine they must have been just going, a gift, a gift is coming. What will it be? What will it be? And then it comes, and they're like this. Oh, gosh, oh, gosh, how do I open it? I got the scissors. Here we go. Okay. Oh my gosh, you're not even going to believe what it is. A magnifying glass? A magnifying glass? Hmm. You see, we're going to learn more about this next week. But what he sent was the Holy Spirit. And what the Holy Spirit does is give us such clarity. Like, oh, 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 I see it so much better now. But I mean, the Holy Spirit does so much more than that. We have got to get so excited. But the only way to do that is to understand just how powerful the Holy Spirit is. Well, here's what we're going to do right now. We're going to take a look at the scripture that leads up to right before he leaves. Are you ready? Okay. So let's look at Acts chapter 1, verse 6. Then they gathered around him and asked him, Lord, are you at this time going to restore the kingdom of Israel? He said to them, It is not for you to know the times or the dates the Father has set by his own authority, but you will receive the power when the Holy Spirit comes on you, and you will be my witnesses in Jerusalem and in all of Judea and Samaria and to the ends of the earth. After he said this, he was taken up before their very eyes, and a cloud hid him from their sight. Wow. Okay, that had to be just so amazing. First of all, they found out that the gift was going to be a Holy Spirit. But the next thing that they did was immediately start asking questions. Okay, so when are you going to do this? And when are you going to do that? And when are you going to do this? They really wanted to know. They wanted clarity. But you know what he said? That's not for you to know. You see, the Holy Spirit's going to come, but it's not like everything's going to be super clear. It's just going to help you look at things a little bit differently. It changes the way we look at everything. The Holy Spirit is so great. And I think of this Holy Spirit as a personal friend. But we're going to learn more about that next week. It's going to be so fantastic. So I want you guys to know, as we're trying to 
figure out when life's going to get back to normal? Huh. Maybe what we should realize is that we have someone walking alongside of us and it's perfectly normal to them to walk through any kind of challenge, any kind of trouble. And it's the Holy Spirit. And they say, I got you. I have got you. And it's so awesome to think, I'm not alone. I'm not afraid. And I walk with the one who knows the answers. Are you kidding me? Now that is clarity. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, I thank you so much for just your word and how we can look at it. How we can see that the disciples said, oh, when are you going to do this? When are you going to do that? Because we're still doing the same thing. And you knew we would do that. You, nothing surprises you, Lord. And you say, hmm, it's not for you to know. But you do assure us that you know exactly when you're going to do things. And you assure us that all will be well. We love you, Lord Jesus. We give you all of the praise in Jesus' name. All the kids said, amen. Amen, guys. Have a great week.